again. This is Wayne. We're starting on our second week of our build, build a bird house condo. And we're coming along pretty good. And I think if you remember last week we had nothing but a bunch of boards. Where were we last week? I believe we had the interior walls done on pretty much the birdhouse uh, sections, all all of the sections put together. Uh, this week we're going to start out by making the fronts and the backs of the, the birdhouse and then we'll finish off by putting the roof on. Uh, I think it's going to be uh, a real interesting show. I'd like for you to, to uh, subscribe if you haven't so far. Here's a real quick shot of the front uh, of the birdhouses all laid out here. And you can see all nine holes that I've got drilled for the different compartments and uh, apartments. Maybe that's a better way to say it. As you saw just a moment ago, I was drilling the entryway. And now uh, the lady who wants this birdhouse built says that she wants a perch under each one of these openings. Now I've heard both ways that birds do not need a perch, that they can just scoot right in the hole without any problem. I've heard that sparrows can get into a birdhouse uh, with or without a perch. Uh, swallows, that's a different story. They like to squeeze into the tiniest little hole they can because predators can't get in there so easily. And there's lots of small birds that are predators for, for uh, swallows. So I'm trying to determine in my mind how far below the, the entry hole I should put the perch. These bird houses are about, oh, five and a quarter inches wide uh, and so I could have done the math and figured it out but me being such a lazy bum I just put a mark here one inch down from the hole that's what I decided I was going to use for the distance from the bottom of the hole one inch okay instead of doing math I just line one end of my ruler up on one side of the board and six inches on the other side. Okay, being math and me are not very good friends. I know that three inches is halfway between zero and six. And I know that here is one inch down from the hole. So I just line up my all right here on the three inch mark. And there we have it. It's exactly centered. Pretty simple, huh? Well, we've got one more session done. Got the front on the centerpiece and the two next sections. Got the holes drilled for everything. It's starting to look like a birdhouse. Get the next section on the end and the roof. And I believe it'll be ready to set on the base and then send it home to its new home. Hopefully they like it a whole bunch. First of all, I've made a little base block that'll set right down here on the bottom of, of the outside end, the last section of the birdhouses. Then I cut some little uh, three-quarter by three-quarter blocks and this one will be attached to this base plate and I'll glue it and screws screws in from the bottom first 
Then after that I set it here against these uprights uh, and then I have pre-drilled holes here and then I will screw it into this and put a little glue behind each one of these. Okay, the, our base is then attached to the birdhouse. The next thing that needs to be done is to uh, put the other block like this. Don't glue it or anything. Put it, put your end piece against it and then of course put a clamp on it and I'll just put a spring clamp so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, then mark it, square it up and mark it here. Then you can take this apart and put your glue in and uh, then I screwed it in from the outside of the end wall after gluing it. Then you can set it back onto your your uh, base piece and then screw down through here or you can go from the bottom up and screw into this block. Then everything is secure and you have two pieces here on this end for uh, that you can screw up through the bottom of the base into these blocks and your whole birdhouse then is attached securely. The front of the the front wall of the birdhouse, I haven't cut the angle for the roof on this yet, but the front wall then will be screwed to all of this assembly and then that'll give it one more point of of attachment. Well there we have it glued together and screws all put in. Now I'm ready to put the front and back on and this end will be done. Well there we are all assembled except for putting the roof on and the base. Uh, so after lunch I think I'll start putting the roof on. It's getting close. And there you have it. The main build is complete. Got a couple of details to finish up on it, but uh, all in all it's turned out to be a pretty nice looking birdhouse. We're looking at the back of the birdhouse and if you'll notice I've got each section screwed together so that you can take any one section apart from the back and clean out the nests at the end of the season. Well, that'll be it for this week. It's been a real challenge to build this. I hope that you will branch out and try to do something like this on your own. Uh, the last time I checked, I had um, 30 or so hours into building this. Uh, it wouldn't have taken so much time had I just went down to the lumber store and bought the bought the lumber but I uh, decided that I would just go with making it out of pallet wood just to prove it could be done. Okay this is Wayne signing off for the What's Up Wayne channel and I hope you have enjoyed this presentation. We'll see you next week with something else a little bit crazy and off the wall. Goodbye for now. Thank you.